Hello guys, and welcome to Let It Drive. Big news was just dropped on us by Kama AI, and let me tell you, I did not One. expect that in this year. I guess it just goes to show you that you will never know what life is going to bring you. On July 31st, in San Diego, California, Two. the Comic-Con event happened, and Kama released their new hardware device, the Three. Kama 3, essentially a fourth generation custom hardware made by Kama AI. If you haven't heard of Kama AI and OpenPilot before, let me quickly introduce them to you. Kama AI's company was founded by George Hotz in September 2015. It started as a small startup and grew into a quickly evolving profitable company. The company's mission is to make driving chill, specifically by bringing semi-autonomous driving capabilities to cars. Quote, Our mission has been the same since the beginning. It's to solve self-driving cars while delivering shippable intermediaries said George Hotz, founder and president of Kama AI. Kama AI's Kama devices and its machine learning open pilot software is a solution that improves your car's stock safety systems, upgrading it to a level two self-driving assistant. The car will steer, accelerate, and brake automatically in its lane. Basically, you can drive hands-free of the steering wheel, even on roads with no lane lines, and watch as open pilot makes magic on the roads. Moreover, its driver monitoring system is constantly checking the driver's awareness. Be aware that OpenPilot is not meant to replace the driver, but to make the driving experience more chill and relaxing. Anyways, back to talking about Kama AI hardware. At the time of making this video, both products were on sale at Kama AI's website, and according to HOTS, there are over 700 Kama 2s in stock, and they are still selling them. In total, they sold over 5,000 Kama 2s starting in January of 2020. Also, according to HOTS, after their newest hardware releases, the older Comma 2 devices will still be supported for one more year. This means you could get a Comma 2 and still get regular OpenPilot software updates for a while. But already, we are seeing differences. Comma 3 gets navigation as a new feature. The Comma 2 doesn't have that. But don't bury your Comma 2 just yet. In 2020, Consumer Reports ranked this aftermarket driver assistance kit as even better than the stock Tesla Autopilot feature and Cadillac Super Cruise. The new and beautiful Comma 3 device with upgraded hardware starts at $2,199, plus an extra $200 for your car harness. If you want to splurge, you could consider their special cross-country edition device, which comes with improved SSD storage space. This will run you another 600 bucks putting the final ticket price at $27.99. Oh wait, it doesn't just come with more storage, but also this cool cross-country logo. Existing Comma 2 users don't need to buy a new car harness when they are planning to replace their old devices, as they can use their previously purchased harness, which will make it a simple plug-and-play upgrade. Compared to the Comma 2, the new device is double the price, but knowing Comma AI pricing strategy, the price can mostly go in one direction, and that is up. This is because the system is getting better over time and new features will be added. This is a similar pricing strategy as Tesla's full self-driving feature, but still, Kama's product is way cheaper and already supporting over 100 different car models and makes. This list of supported vehicles will continue to grow over time as Kama continues to work on developing VOACC, which stands for Vision Only Adaptive Cruise Control. I think it will be similar to the Tesla Vision system, which only uses cameras and so-called neural net processing to detect and understand what is happening in the environment surrounding the vehicle and then responding appropriately. At the moment, Kama already offers open pilot longitudinal control for some makes and models, but the system uses your car's stock ACC radar as a backup. When I'm driving with OpenPilot engaged in my Honda, OpenPilot is controlling the steering, which is great, but the ACC is stock, which is not smooth at all, especially in city driving where it struggles with braking. Plus, I'm missing out on OpenPilot features like stopped car and cut-in detection. In the future, as far as I'm aware, Kama's 100% vision-based model will correct and replace my need to use my own car's ACC feature. I think future VOACC is one of the reasons why the Kama 3 got better cameras. Three 1080p cameras have 120 dB of dynamic range, which is two generations ahead of a leading electric car maker. 360-degree vision means it can detect vehicles that are driving next to your car, 
and hopefully see traffic lights that are high above the car, plus a narrow camera to spot objects far off in the distance, which is especially good for detecting cars far ahead and also traffic lights and stop signs. At the moment, OpenPilot does not break for traffic lights nor stop signs, but I think this will be a thing in the future. The third driver-facing camera and infrared lights are now positioned in the middle of the device. This means that the new Comma 3 driver monitoring system will work flawlessly in both countries that drive on the left as well as on the right. With the Comma 2, there were problems caused because of the placement of the driver monitoring camera and sometimes had problems seeing driver's faces in countries where the driver sat on the right side of the car. The Comma 3 is definitely a high-end product for the masses. When marketing a new product, its first look is very important, and the new Comma 3 is sleek, beautiful, and more than capable of convincing people that this product is a worthy purchase. Speaking of a new and updated hardware base, HOTS promised that each device and its parts are tested before shipping being more reliable and better heat resistant compared to the Comma 2. I would hope that this means we can expect a warranty against hardware defects to be extended to two years instead of just one, but we'll have to see. As a Comma 2 user myself, I have been testing the product for over six months and have racked up 10,000 miles of drive time. At the moment, I'm not planning to replace my Comma 2 because I'm already restricted by my Honda's limited steering torque. This means even if I upgrade, I won't have access to the complete open pilot experience. I'd rather upgrade my car first to something like a Toyota. But if I were you, even remotely interested in self-driving tech, I would pick up the Comma 3 because it's only a matter of time before the difference in old and new hardware becomes very apparent. Thanks for watching, drive safe, and I'll see you next time.